Tell us what tells your feelings after this crazy and also unlucky Paris Rube for you. Yeah, it's uh, a <laughs> what this moment. Uh, still difficult to uh, to accept, of, of course, what happens in the race. But uh, uh, yeah, it's 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 a uh, well, yeah. How you say it? Classic uh, Paris Roubaix. It's so uh, over until you're in the velodrome. So. Uh, yeah, when uh, when I had this flat tire, it, uh, it ruined, of course, uh, my chances uh, for winning. So when you had that flat tire, that was exactly after the moment you already attacked, so you must have felt really good today uh, to go for this win. Yeah, I was uh, a bit in a difficult situation, alone in, in the front group. I think uh, uh, Christophe had bad luck in uh, an Arenberg, and uh, unfortunately, or unfortunate for us, uh, Albusin was really strong in, in the front and uh, kept, kept everyone behind. Um, so yeah, I had to try and play it smart, and I think uh, I did quite well in that. And uh, the moment the, that I picked to to attack, I was still feeling great. Uh, but when I took the corner on Carrefour de la Arbre, I, uh, I almost crashed because uh, I flooded in the back. And uh, yeah, then uh, then everybody saw what happened. Maybe it's, uh, not the right moment, but just are you really looking forward to uh, next races? I mean. Are you looking forward to, for instance, races like Amstel or Liège? Are you, are you riding those? No, my my spring is uh, finished now. I'm actually looking forward to some rest. Uh, it uh, didn't bother my race today, but uh, now I start to feel uh, quite some pain on uh, on my on my ribs. And um, uh, yeah, mentally it's been uh, always a tough period, like uh, like every year. So uh, yeah, ready to uh, to rest a little bit and uh, focus on the summer. Las palabras de Wout Van Aer, que no pudo hoy terminar como quería, pues gracias a un pinchazo que tuvo ya a finales de la competencia de esta Paris Roubaix 2023, que dio como ganador campeón a Matthew Van Der Poel y en segundo lugar a su compañero de equipo, Jasper Philipsen, que quedó a 46 segundos junto con Wout Van Aer. Lamentablemente, ese pinchazo, increíblemente. Ahí vemos cuando perseguía. Y aquí lo vemos. Aquí está el momento del pinchazo donde le están cambiando la rueda a Wout Van Aer. Pero ya no pudo darle cacería, alcanzar a Matthew Van Der Poel, que se le fue. Y ya no pudo. Pues aquí el que pinchaba perdía. Y le tocó a Wout Van Aer y Matthew Van Der Poel. No le pasó nada. No se cayó. No se pinchó. No le pasó nada mecánicamente. Fue una carrera perfecta para él. Así que esta fue la reacción en entrevista tras finalizar esta Paris Roubaix de Wout Van Aer, corredor del Jumbo Bisma, que ocupó la tercera casilla.